I'm very, very seriously contemplating running against Sadiq Khan again. If only because someone's got to turn around and say what an absolute demonic twat he is and what he's done to London, that my capital city that I love, what he's done to this place is unforgivable. What's he done? What's this he is done? In, on my what? questions. What, how has London changed under his tutelage and guidance? It took 40 minutes, 45 minutes to get here from Stockwell. What's that, two miles? Two and a bit miles? Um, so the whole place, he's covered the whole place in surveillance cameras. Um, he can't... Yet crime is crime on is the rise. Thirty percent Knife crime is up 30% because he won't stop and search kids. Little kids in posh areas are getting killed, so you're not safe anywhere. He's stoked division, certainly racial division across this capital city to the point where we've had, you know, people that I don't even recognise as British sitting there screaming... The most, I walked through the crowds of them uh, during the first few marches. And I'm like, you're not British. There's nothing British about you. You have no interest in Britain. It's the first time you've been out on the streets and you're talking about a country miles and miles and miles away. Um, and you have every right to do so. Go for it. Um, but he's done that. He's He does these things like black on the square. You know, it's like, what 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 would happen if we did, why don't you do a white on the square as well? Just a celebration of white culture. It's like, come on, man. We don't do this in this in this city. Um, and yeah, look, you know, he's just using it as a way of feathering his own nest. And he's an ideologue. He doesn't focus on what matters in this city. And you can't get around. You're charged to get into your car. You're charged to get out of your car. It's a tax on the poor because you can buy an electric vehicle. You, you get you can get all of the benefit in kind back in year one from your corporation tax. That's not what poor people do or working class people. Working class people have a white van, which is their main asset along with their tools to do the jobs that we all need f***ing doing. And they're being charged to to do that. And they pass it on to us, which is fair enough. But it, I don't like taxing poor people. I, I don't like making the lives of the hardest working in this country more difficult to satisfy your crappy utopianism, Sadiq Khan. So, yeah, I'm, I'm contemplating that. And also it might be quite amusing if I do the um, if I do the launch of my uh, mayoral campaign at outside Scotland Yard and as part of my policies, which will be part of my policies, is I'll have to break my bail conditions to say what my policy would be. So they might have to send someone out to arrest me halfway through. Which might be good for the campaign. <laughs> Which would be funny. Yeah. Wow. So why do you think he arrested you? I think, he, I think he, he's got a major problem with me, doesn't he? Because, you know, people like what I've got to say about him. And I'm, I, I do spend quite a lot of time pointing out what a nasty little hypocrite he is. So six coppers, yeah. So, so just explain, just in case. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I was talking with Marjid Nawaz, and um, he, you know, again, here's a piece of rope. Do you want to hang on? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. You had me at his. Yeah. yeah. Um, he, he was talking about the, the climate scheme. I'm, I'll try not to break my bail conditions in this interview. It's all right, because I've got the kids this week. Um, and the, I don't want the dog. I'm what? so blessed that the dog's in the house. Anyway. What are your bail conditions? I'm not allowed to say the singular, the plural of the great and excellent film Blade Runner. I can't say the plural of that ever. They've just extended my bail conditions for another three months and kept all my kids' iPads and phones and stuff, little f***ers. Um, like they need those. Like I'm, I'm plotting and scheming with the... Uh... Anyway. Um, Sorry, carry on. Yeah. So... I said I admired. I'm not. I'm not allowed to either support. I, I. But what I said at the time was that I admired the work of these people, and um, you know that I would be happy to participate in it. When you say that, you mean the people that were gonna? Yeah, the um, the people I'm not allowed to talk about. Oh, you're not allowed to talk about them. No, it's in my bail conditions, which is right. why to be quite funny for my mayoral campaign. Anyway, so at ten o'clock next morning, um, my, I had meetings, so my dogs were out. I've got a Labrador who is 
gentle, 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 gentle dog. But when I'm, the door open, door goes, and I open the door, he's right in front. <laughs> <laughs> and he would have he, they would have killed him and all had to put him down because he would not have, they were so aggressive when they came in so yeah 10 o'clock next morning the the six or seven cops turn up to the house my neighbor said to me later she said she was terrified she thought that i'd murdered someone or something like that she said when she saw them and she was like, when I found out what it was for, I was like, oh, my God. What She said it changed her entire oh. view on the Metropolitan Police. And what was it for? Uh, it was oh. for um, criticising the um, the surveillance state yeah. machine that's being built up around us. Uh, and they arrested me, took me down to jail. And what did they say they arrested you for? Conspiracy to commit criminal damage right. and um, encouraging or supporting an act of criminal damage. Yeah. Um, but anyone who knows me knows that you know, conspiracy to do anything. I can't be asked. <laughs> it's, can't be asked. it's like, honestly, really, I've dreamt up a conspiracy. So, um, hence why possibly they haven't charged me yet. Um, so I, basically, you're too lazy to be a, of any danger to anyone. Yeah, <laughs> I'm too. Yeah, I'm too lazy. Well, no, because I, 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 I did, I've climbed up on a few statues and cleaned them off of um, various bits of decoration but so i don't mind getting involved but mm. uh, you know i'm not really up for a conspiracy to dismantle a, the security state i don't i'm not sure it's within my technological capacity um so they turned up took me to the police station there was two calls on the way to the police station one of a stabbing and one of a suicide and they were like sorry we're busy and i'm like you're busy taking me little old f me to the police station to try and intimidate why me. did they need six or seven people because uh, i mean <laughs> To check out the gun Cause show because they, they wanted to a freak me out and b show the public that did this it freak is, you out? I, I, it was you know it's never you're never like hi guys no but, but you I, managed to do a, a video while you were there didn't you yeah 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 I, I messaged you straight after yeah. that <laughs> I haven't got your message because they nicked my phone oh I haven't got there's so many I'm, they'll never give me my phone back but I'd so love to see all the messages that I was yeah. going to send <laughs> during that time because like mate. <laughs> Um, so yeah, they, they, it was, yeah, it wasn't pleasant. And then they took me to the cop shop, uh, and the bit that, and I was pretty amenable with them, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't really have that much beef with the individuals within the Metropolitan Police. I've got a lot of problems with the organisation of the Metropolitan mm. Police, but the individuals were in it were pretty sound. And even the guy who was like, didn't like me, sort of by the end was all right and you know someone came up to my cell door and it was like a movie it sort of cracked open you know that little bit where they shoved the food in and yeah. there was a brownie put on there and i went to get it and looked out and this guy went keep up the good work <laughs> <laughs> gave me a brownie so um yeah they kept me in there for um a, what, a long time and the only the only time i got really annoyed was when they took my kids stuff and mm. and i was just like why are you doing that that's that's cruel and my so my poor kids were you know, they, and actually my kids are scared now of the cops. And I've told them they should be because the cops, I said, if there's a problem, don't run to a copper. If there's a problem, run to a woman or into a shop. And, you know, but they're bigger now, so they'll be all right. <laughs>